Hello, people out there in YouTube land. So today, what I'm going to be showing you to do is how to completely fix all of the battery issues in the iPhone 4S and really any iOS 5 device for that matter because I know some people are having issues with their iPhone 4s and 3GSs that are uh, upgraded to iOS 5. So anyway, um, there are a lot of guides on the internet that show you how to do things that do help but none of them I found to be very complete. So I'm going to show you how to do everything, and I guarantee you this will drastically improve your iPhone 4S, iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS battery life. So unlock your device. Um, the first thing is that I would encourage you to do is go to Reset and Reset All Settings here. This will, the top one, this will not erase any of your media or apps or anything like that. All it will do is reset your settings. Now, the reason you want to do this is there is a theory that if you've upgraded from a previous version of iOS, that some of your settings will be sort of corrupted, and those will cause problems. So, first thing to do is reset all settings and reboot the phone, um, set it up again how you would set it up. Um, so the next step, um, going to go back to general menu, uh, go to notifications. This is kind of a given. Turn everything off that you don't desperately need. Some things like Game Center, I don't use. Instagram, I don't need to know notifications from that. That's stupid. So turn those off and then go back to location services. Now this is a big one. Um, of course, turn off all the location services you don't need, especially find my iPhone because um, that's like on all the time and it is a big battery sucker. And if you don't plan on losing your iPhone, then there is no reason to have it on. Uh, then go to system services. Um, the time zone setting is a big culprit. What that does is it constantly checks your location to make sure that you haven't jumped around to another part of the world, and so it will change your clock accordingly. Uh, but anyway, I would recommend turning all of these off because, I mean, you can keep, if you need, like, traffic on or something, you can keep that on. But, like, compass calibration, I mean, who uses the compass anyway? So I would turn all of these off. Um, keep cell network search on. Um, then, okay, people say, yeah, adjust the brightness, but I don't want to turn my brightness down. I mean, the phone should function perfectly fine with um, reasonable brightness. So then go to general. Um, and the first thing you should do here is go to Siri. Uh, raise to speak. Turn that off. What that is, is it basically has a sensor on the top of the phone, and it is constantly trying to tell if your face is nearby. Um, so it can activate Siri and um, turn that off, because it's a constant battery drain, and um, Siri isn't that useful anyway. Um, Bluetooth. Turn Bluetooth off. Should be off. Um iTunes Wi-Fi Sync. If you have this enabled, plug your iPhone, iPod Touch, whatever, into your computer and uncheck the sync over Wi-Fi. I actually don't know if this helps, but I think it does. Um, actually, it wouldn't help because it only syncs when the iPhone is plugged in. Never mind. Anyway, okay, uh, Spotlight Search. Um, basically, the phone does index all of your stuff constantly um, so turning off like see these will be checked uncheck all of these to disable the indexing for all of your stuff on your phone auto lock should be a one minute of course restrictions okay so oh there we go yeah you just saw my password but um yeah so basically enable restrictions set some password and go down and disable ping because ping is really useless and um, it constantly drains battery or it does sometimes it'll try to connect to the ping server and like 
do whatever it does. So turn ping off, that's the only thing you need to do here. Um, date and time. Make sure it is not set automatically um, because that will constantly check your location and try to set your time and whatnot, just like the time zone settings in the location services, so check that off. Uh, okay, keyboard, I think that's it. Um, yeah, so that should be it. And after you do this, reboot your iPhone and turn it back on. Then drain it all the way to zero. Like, drain it until the iPhone completely dies. And what this will do is uh, reset your uh, battery um, meter in your phone. Your, uh, the, in the phone, there is the battery meter that gets information from the battery. And over time, um, it can become sort of inaccurate, at displaying the wrong percentages. So your iPhone may have a certain amount of charge, but your meter like in the corner there is only displaying um, another amount and that can also cause issues. So anyway, um, I hope this helps anybody who has been having issues with iOS 5 devices and uh, yeah, so hit the like button if you feel like and subscribe. Um, yeah, so hope this helps y'all.